Hello, take a moment, read this problem, and then press play and we'll solve it together. Okay, I, I'm fairly unhappy with a lot of the stats problems that we're getting right now in the Algebra 2 regions, but let's talk about this because there's some, it's, it's something you might think about, but it's hard to answer in, on a regents, and I'll explain that as I go along. It says an orange juice processing plant receives a truckload of oranges, okay? So we're having a truck full of oranges. The quality control team randomly chooses three pails of oranges, each containing 50 oranges from the truck load. So I might actually stop and just think about this. Okay, we've got a truck, right? It's driving up. It's got oranges on it. Okay. There's a bunch of oranges in the back. From that, you take out three pails of oranges. Each of them has 50 oranges. So now we don't know how many oranges are on the truck, but we know that 150 oranges is kind of like your sample from the truck. And when you take from um, a specific group like this, and that's what you're trying to figure out and think about, this is called the population. Of course, it's not all the oranges on Earth, but we're not trying to make a, a statement about all the oranges. We're trying to make some kind of statement about that truckload. So that's our population. Identify the sample and the population in the given scenario. Okay, so again, you can just say, to be brief, the sample equals the three pails of 50 oranges. And you could say that the population, right, that is equal to the truck, what is it, truck load? Yeah, truck load of oranges. It's that simple. Just saying, all right, well, that's all the oranges we're looking at. We want to know something about those oranges on that truck. That's got to be our population. How do I know it? They want to say something about the oranges on that truck. It's because they have this quality control team. They're taking samples from the oranges, right? They, mu they want to know something about the oranges in that truck. I guess it's possible they want to know something else, like uh, about the oranges in their supply chain. But if we read ahead in this, in this question, we can see, yeah, they, they definitely want to know about that truck. So it says state one conclusion that the quality control team could make about the population if 5% of the sample was found to be unsatisfactory. Now, I don't like this question because there's not really much you can say. You took a small sample and a small part of that sample was unsatisfactory. So um, what you want to avoid is saying something like precisely 5% of the pop population will be unsatisfactory. That's not what we're going for here. You can't say that precisely. You don't know. You just took a sample. But what you can say, use words like this. You can say it is likely. So it's it seems likely. Like get, nothing is guaranteed. Avoid that a word like that. That and here's a keyword about five percent of the population is unsatisfactory. So that, I mean, so first of all, let me explain why this answer might be accepted. And of course, we could debate this and you might say, Sean, this is, you're already saying too much. But I'm just saying about 5%. It's a really loose term. You're saying somewhere close to 5% of the population is probably unsatisfactory. You took a random sample, 150 oranges. That's, that's, that's a large amount of oranges and it's random. So you're getting a representation of what you might find. I've also seen in this problem that uh, students who have written things like, well, most of the oranges will be satisfactory. They have accepted answers like that. Or you might say a very small percentage of oranges will be unsatisfactory. These general statements are okay in a problem like this where the information they've given you is general. And that's frustrating to me because I know the students are getting nervous when they read this because they're looking and thinking uh, that there must be some type of precise answer and that gets them in trouble. So this is a general question, give them a general answer and make sure you're loose with your language saying about 5%. This sampling process only estimates what's on that truck. All right, thank you.